Good morning! It is great to be with you again. Today, we will learn how to be appreciative. Giving appreciation is one of, of the best things that we can give to others. However, for many of us, it has been easier to point out the mistakes of others and pass judgment rather than give appreciation. What is worse is, we see the mistakes of others, but we often fail to see our own mistakes. And so in today's lesson, Mrs. Kans will teach us how to be tolerant and have a more positive outlook on others in order for us to avoid judging others unfairly. But first, we begin with our prayer by closing our eyes and then bowing our heads. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for this new day. Teach us to be curious, to be kind, to be charitable and appreciative towards others. Open our hearts and our minds that we may learn not to judge others unfairly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us now join in the singing of our opening song. you for God will judge you in the same way you judge others and he will be up he will apply to you the same rules you apply to others why then do you look at the speck in your brother's eye and pay no attention to your to the stick in your own eye how dare you say to your brother please let me help remove that fault of yours when you have a bigger fault of your own you hypocrite! First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will be able to see clearly to take the speck out of your, your, of your brother's eye. As Jesus sat near the temple offering box with some of his disciples, he watched the people as they dropped in their offerings. Many rich men dropped in a lot of money. show off but look how much he puts in the box he a very important man with a lot of money hey look at this guy he looks really rich let's see what he puts in Those are expensive jewels. God must be very pleased with him. Then a poor widow came up to the box dressed in rags. Oh no, look at that lady. 
How could she come to the temple dressed like that? That's embarrassing. Yeah, look at her rags. How shameful. Let's see what she puts in. What? Only two pennies? Why doesn't she just stay home and keep her pennies? <laughs> then Jesus called his disciples together and they said to them, I tell you that this poor widow put in more in the offering box than all the others. So the others put in what they had to spare for the riches, but she, poor she is, put in all she had. She gave all she had to live on. What's a put down? Putting someone down by saying something bad about them that makes them not feel good about themselves. Do we like that? The first one deals with someone having a fault or doing something wrong that you feel you have to point out. You know what that reminds me of? In the classroom, we often have this problem. A tattletaler. You know what that is? Somebody who has to tattle on someone else or that is tell on them. Point out something they're doing that is wrong. How many times have teachers seen, Mrs. Kant, Mrs. Kant, Mrs. Kant, she's not following the rules, or he's not doing it the way you said to do it. Now, if it's something really important they're doing wrong, yes, the teacher should know about it, or you need to report it. But ordinary little things like that, to constantly point it out, people don't like that, and they get known as a tattletaler. If someone has something that needs to be corrected, you can talk to them about it in a way that's not going to hurt their feelings and not make them feel put down. Are you so perfect? In that reading it says, look what's in your own eye if you're going to talk about what's in somebody else's eye. You might not be so perfect yourself. In fact, some tattletailers often break rules and they're on the lookout for who else does. So. Put things in the proper perspective. The second reading talks about people who, first of all, showing off how rich they are and what they're giving to God, the work of God. This story takes place in the temple where Jesus was there watching and they saw these people coming in to give their offerings or the money or, or whatever they had for the work of God. And these rich guys are kind of showing off. I mean, they had a lot to give. And then comes the poor little widow. She's not dressed nicely because she can't afford nice clothes. And what does she put in? Two little pennies. And Jesus said, she gave more than the rich guys by comparison because she gave all that she had Whereas they had a lot to give. The Bible standard is clear. We should be giving 10% of what we have to the work of God. And that might be a lot for a rich person, but she gave all that she had. But what takes over in that story? The gossipers. What's gossip? When you start talking about someone in ways that are not helpful. It might be true, or it might even be exaggerated or a lie, but talking about somebody and spreading news about somebody that is not helpful. I mean, they criticized the way she was dressed and how little she gave and were making fun of her. That's not helpful. For some reason, humans tend to have a, a like for gossip. Oh, what'd you say about so-and-so? Oh, I hadn't heard that story yet. Oh my, is it going to be helpful? I sometimes caught myself telling something and I'm saying, oh my, should I be doing this? It's true, but should I be spreading that news and make somebody's reputation bad or make them feel bad? 
I wouldn't want that to happen to me. So gossiping is another way of putting people down and it doesn't help. It is not a helpful thing. So if you get into the ha either of those habits of being a tattletaler when it's not really important or spreading news or making fun of people that, that is in ways that's not good, that does not help at all. I want to tell you a little story about my uh, youngest son. When he was at St. John's many years ago and he finally reached, he was in seventh grade and he could finally go to his first dance. We didn't have middle school then. We started what we called junior high at seventh grade. His first dance, oh, he had to go out and shop for special clothes for it. Because in school, they always wore the uniform. And when he went to that dance, one of his best friends, who happened to be a rich kid, said, oh, where'd you get those shoes? We had bought new shoes for that dance for him, but they weren't a big name brand. And they made him feel bad. And you know what? He never wanted to go to a dance again. Was that nice? Absolutely unnecessary judgmental talk that didn't make him feel good. So always keep in mind, would you want this to be said about you or done to you? Instead of putting people down, try to think of ways to put them up and encourage them. I think that's what God would want us to do. So follow Jesus every day, be friendly and helpful loving, kind, and good, and then you'll be doing the things you should. Let me be a little kinder, let me be a little blinder to the faults of those around me, let me praise a little more. Just a little bit more cheery Think a little more of others And a little less of me Let me be a little braver When temptations bid me waver Let me strive a little harder To be all that I should be Let me be a little meeker with a brother that is weaker, let me think more of my neighbor and a little less of me. Let me dream when I am weary, just a little bit more cheery. Let me serve a little better those that I am striving for. Let me be a little meeker. With a brother that is weaker, think a little more of others and a little less of me. Your response to the prayers is hear our prayer. For the time we have been too outspoken to others and hurt their feelings, we express our sorrow and wish to earnestly try to do better. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the times we have judged others or teased them for being different from us, we are sorry and want to do better. Better, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the times we have not shown compassion to those who needed it, we are sorry and want to do better. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the great compassion and kindness that you have for us, even when we don't deserve it, we thank you. Lord in, uh, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May we think more about how we treat others and try harder to follow your golden rule. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Forgive us, who, forgive us for the times we have spread gossip and made others feel bad. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
for those who have special needs or who are sad and discouraged, may they be shown special compassion. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. I now invite you to join me in the praying of the Lord's Prayer. Together, let us recite the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. At this point, I would like to invite those who are celebrating their birthdays on November 14 to 20 to please rise for your birthday blessing. The rest of you, please join me in praying for our birthday celebrants. First, let me put on my magic birthday hat. Okay, are you ready, birthday celebrants? Here comes your blessing. Watch over your children, O Lord, as their days increase. Bless and guide them wherever they may be. He strengthen them when they stand, comfort them when discouraged or sad, raise them up when they fall, and in their hearts may your peace be with them all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, children, you know what to do. We clap for our birthday celebrants. We give them five big loud claps and then we greet them a happy birthday. One, two, three, four, five. Happy birthday! May you have a wonderful, special birthday. For our final blessing, I'm going to read to you a verse from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Do not let foul words come out of your mouth. Only say what is helpful when it is needed for building up others and your community so that it benefits those who hear what you say. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now, let us sing our closing song. Mm -hmm.